The rain this week will certainly help ease the drought in Alabama, but it probably won't be enough to end it. News 5's Pat Peterson has more now on the drought, the statewide burn ban, and why firefighters are actually worried about the possibility of severe weather. The drought has kept the Alabama Forestry Commission pretty busy. As you can see, it's extremely dry. Extremely dry weather has increased the wildfire threat across the entire state. We're on a statewide burn ban until further notice. This state map shows the number of wildfires reported since October. It's hard to find a county or community that hasn't had a fire. We have a transport along with a large bulldozer here, as you can see. In Baldwin County. We've had three fires since 8 o'clock this morning. The Forestry Commission says one or two inches of rain won't be enough to end the drought. This little, little bit of amount of rain is not going to do much for us. Yes, it will ease the impact of the drought but it's certainly not going to, not going to uh, pull us out of the drought by any means. It also won't make outdoor burning safe. We've got a long way to go. It's going to take a lot of rain for this to build moisture back up in the soil. The Forestry Commission is watching the weather closely. Foresters are also concerned about lightning strikes, which could cause wildfires. Lightning strikes cause a large amount of wildfires, especially in, in a drought-stricken area such as Alabama. Lightning causes about 9,000 wildfires and burns more than 5 million acres in the U.S. every year. On the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5. And according to the State Forestry Commission, 2,150 wildfires have burned 26,000 acres since October 1st.